Hello people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It is Thursday the 1st of July and it is time for another instalment of the Daily Leads and we've got loads to get into today, not least saying goodbye to a few of our ex-players as it's now July and they're now out of contract and of course we will hear on some more transfer rumours including a special interview with someone uh, from LUFC fans on who spoke directly to one of these key players' agents about a prospective move to Leeds United. So another jam-packed show for you today on the Daily Leeds. Before we do get into the video, as always, smash a like on the video, get your comments in, get that notification bell on. We'll be back live on Friday for some more Euro 2020 watch-alongs. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please help a brother out. There's a watermark down here. We're on that road to 5K. Fingers crossed we can get there before the season starts. But that's enough waffle from me. Let's get into the video. So as I just said at the start, guys, with it being the 1st of July, it is time for Leeds United to officially bid farewell to a number of players. Um, I'll go through the list now. Some of them, you'll, uh, you'll be like, are they even still here? Uh, Wasim Boy has now officially left Leeds United. Union or Kane, another one who was absolutely garbage. We bid a fond farewell to Barry Douglas, the Swiss lion Gaetano Berardi, and of course, Gianni Alioski. What's going on with Alioski? Maybe we'll find out a little bit later on today. As I say, this is coming to you nice, bright and early on the 1st of July. Um, maybe it'll unfold during the day. We'll hear where he's going to land, you know, because Leeds United have offered him a contract. There's a contract on the table for Gianni Alioski and he's not signed. He's officially now not a Leeds United player. He is officially now a free agent. So what's going to happen with Gianni Alioski? I spoke to you yesterday. I received some information, some ITK stuff, saying that basically he was moving to Turkey. We know there's been a lot of interest in him from Turkey from clubs that feature in Europe and will be ready to play in Europe this season, not chasing Europe this season, which Leeds United will be doing. I'm assuming they can offer a lot more money than what Leeds are willing to put on the table. I don't know. I, look, he still might sign a new deal at Leeds United. Maybe he's playing hardball. Maybe Leeds United go back tomorrow and say, right, OK, or today, sorry, and say, here's another offer. I'm just not sure. But Leeds United have tabled their offer. He's still not signed. He's officially now not a Leeds United player. So hopefully we'll hear something maybe midday, late afternoon, I'm not sure, uh, on the Gianni Alioski situation. But as it stands, guys, he's no longer a Leeds United player. And I'm good about that, you know. I am absolutely good because he, he's he's been a decent he's been a decent player, hasn't he? He's come in and he's a real fan's favourite, a bit of a cult figure, uh, Peppa Pig and all that stuff. Kevin, when he was in the the water baths, and he's putting some sterling performances as well, you know, not least towards the back end of the season. Um, did well in the Euros, which ultimately has probably put him in the shop window a little bit more. So, look, Johnny, if you're watching this, I know you're not, but please stay, mate. We need you. We need you as our backup left back or backup player who can play a number of positions on that left hand side. Fingers crossed, Gianni Alioski does the right thing and signs on the dotted line, but we'll have to wait and see. One player that will be staying, of course, guys, is Jack Harrison, soon to sign his new long-term deal with Leeds United. Baron Cross did a Q&A the other day, and he was asked specifically, what is the deal with Jack? When, where, how are we signing him? And Baron responded, says, look, Jack Harrison's deal has effectively been in place since last summer when he agreed his third-year long loan spell. It should go through on July the 1st, which is officially today. So no doubt during the day, we'll hear some news. So make sure you've got your notification bell on for the Leeds United Twitter sphere, because no doubt we'll hear that Jack Harrison is a Leeds United player. Um, but if it's not on the 1st, it might be towards the back end of the week, maybe Friday. Um, I doubt it'd be over the weekend, but I expect him to be officially, you know, a Leeds United player. Um, before the weekend's out. And as I said, there are no concerns about it from Leeds United's ends, from Jack's ends, from any fans' ends, really. You know, he'll be in place for the start of pre-season. And uh, I'm really excited that Jack Harrison has, has decided to stay. I mean, the Manchester Evening News were reporting that Jack Harrison's move to Leeds is close to being finalised. Apparently, it's going to be £11 million fee uh, with bonuses taking the deal to £15 million. 
Uh, and apparently City as well are going to include a 20% sell-on clause. Um, it's very good business, I guess, for Manchester City. Um, but he's certainly got better and better under uh, Bielsa. You know, 37 goal involvements in 126 games at Leeds United. And he's got better season after season. He's currently in pre-season now, putting in the same work. And he expects him to go up that next level. It won't be too long before Jack Harrison's getting an England call-up, in my humble opinion. But yeah, £11 million, pound, which could rise to 15, which will probably have clauses in there, like if he gets an England call-up etc etc uh, the 20 percent sell-on clause as well by manchester city is a smart bit of business as well and um, they're not daft out of these uh, these big clubs and just while we're on manchester city we're now going to speak about another player of theirs yangel herrera um, we have been linked again to yangel herrera the boys at lufc fan zone have been doing a bit of digging um, I've seen it come out on social media yesterday. They've been speaking to his agent uh, and apparently Leeds have, out, have asked about the situation, about bringing him to the club, maybe on a permanent deal, maybe on a loan. We know that Victor Orta spoke about the, pro the prospect of Leeds United getting a midfielder either permanently or one on loan. Maybe it could be Yangel Herrera. I know he was linked back in April. But listen, I'll let Sam from LUFC Fan Zone give you the full breakdown on what's been discussed. So here's Sam. Hi Joe, it's Sam from LUFC Fan Zone and today I'm going to be talking about Yangel Herrera and the links to Leeds which we brought to you on social media on Wednesday. Yangel Herrera is 23 and is a defensive midfielder who, who's owned by Manchester City but for the last couple of seasons he's been out on loan in Granada in La Liga where he's played 62 times and scored 5 goals as a holding midfield player. And the rumours between Leeds and Herrera began through Talking Shut, actually, who, of course, is a fellow Leeds United social media page in April, where they reported the news that he may be on Leeds United's shortlist. So, in true LUFC fans own style, we contacted his agent, like we have done with the last with a few players over recently, such as Junior Furper, Noah Lang, Neth Hernandez, just to see if we could get an insight into potential deal, and if it was a possibility as opposed to just media speculation. And he did reply saying that Leeds had approached him and the player about a potential transfer this summer, but said that at the moment in time, that's all that Leeds had done. They hadn't followed it up with any bid. They hadn't followed it up with a second, any other approach. He just, just simply said that Leeds had approached Manchester City and Yangel Herrera about if, if a transfer would be possible. And he didn't say what the reaction to that was. He didn't say if he was available. He didn't say what Manchester City's plans were. He just simply said that Leeds had approached him about a possible deal and he also told us that Leeds weren't the only club interested in him and he said that there were a number of teams that had also been in a similar situation to Leeds and approached them about about his status and saying that about the approach as I'm sure you're aware Leeds scouting network is huge nowadays so he's probably one of hundreds of players that Leeds are tracking this summer so it might just be a case of Leeds approaching Yangel Herrera and simply asking, are you available, just for the sake of saying it, because he's come up on their, on their um, scouting and shown that he is a good potential player under Bielsa and Leeds in the Premier League in that heart of midfield, maybe even a, a, a Calvin replacement or a second to Calvin if he gets injured, or God forbid. But he did say that there was an interest sometime this summer. But I guess time will tell if that interest and that approach will lead to anything if he will make a move to Leeds or if it was just a simple simple question asking if he would be available but we'll have to see how that ends up when the transfer window closes at the end of August. Thank you for that Sam. Yeah, the guys at LUFC fan zone do a do a sterling job. Um <laughs> they must just send them DMs to all them agents. I can't believe how many bites they get. It's fair play to the lads. Some great work as well. So make sure you check out their stuff. I will put the link to their podcast in the description. But yeah, Yangel Herrera, uh, been on loan at La Liga for, for a couple of seasons now. Uh, apparently City will have plenty uh, of offers on the table for him. He remains under contract with them until 2024. Uh, he's never appeared, you know, for, for City. But like a lot of these big clubs, they bring these players in, they loan them out. And I think you'll see that a lot with Leeds United as well, you know buying a lot of these players. We've already seen it, to be fair, not on the level that Yangel Herrera's at, but with the likes of um, Kunters Menikov. Um, there's a number of players that come in, haven't featured, and then we move them on for a profit, you know? Um, one person that did pour water on it, though, was, of course, 
the the Yorkshire-based journalist, and I'm not having a go at them here, but whenever we get excited by a transfer, either Beren or Graham just goes like that with the water all over the fire. The fire starts to starts to glisten and then they just go, nah, not happening. So Graham Smith was asked specifically about this link to Yangel Herrera and his answer was, he's not on the list. He's not on the list. Um, <laughs> so we, we'll have to wait and see. But again, great work by the lads and it, it's great to know that Leeds United are out there contacting players. There's no smoke without fire. Surely in the age and wouldn't just make it up because he's actually, he's not gone, yeah, it's close, it's going to happen. Da, da, da. He's not putting him in the shop window because he's actually caveated it and said, that's as far as it's gone, though. You know, there's no offer yet on the table for him. But it's one to keep our eyes on. So make sure um, we look out for that in the next coming days. Um, back to Baron Cross now and his Q&A. So this was the question that was posed to him. Um, it says, hi, Baron. Reports in Italy and South America who are tier one journalists. Yeah, top journalists. This is my man, Lucas, I'm assuming who keeps me in the loop on Instagram, I think it is. He said, um, yeah, these, these journalists are tier one journalists and they're saying Nandes is one step away from joining Leeds. So there's got to be legs in it. And it happened again last night, you know, not only uh, with this question, but I see it all the time, the constant links on the continent in Sardinia, linking us to Nandes. Um, so he also went on to say, with Kuna reports the same, we're in talks with him. We need a quality left back a versatile left winger who can play Cam as well, and a midfielder who can play in the role of Phillips and Click, which Nandes can, and he can play right back as well. How many new signings will come in, and when do you think the midfielder will come in? So it's a fully loaded question. Uh, and Berman said, look, when I last checked at the weekend, Nandes was not even on Orta's shortlist. I'd love to know who they go to. I genuinely would love to know the contact they go to and say, is this guy on your list? <laughs> it's like a bouncer, isn't it? Beren and Graham. Yo, Walter. Nandes. It's not on the list, mate. Not on the list. You're not on the list. No no VIP round here on your bike. That's what it's like. I need to find out who this contact is, who they go to and say, is this guy on the list? You know, it's like um, Chris Jericho, in it? Guess what? You're on the list <laughs> for any WWE fans out there. But yeah, he said, look. Baron said, when I last checked at the weekend, Nandes was not even on auto shortlist, let alone in advanced talks for Leeds on a transfer, um, which is a strange one because we're still hearing, just to, he just to give you some further proof, we had another report in Sardinia um, and they're continuing to push claims that Leeds United are in advanced talks over a deal for Cagliari midfielder Nathie and Nandes. Um, obviously, over here, they're saying it's not happening but over there, they're convinced Nandes is on Leeds' radar. Indeed, they claimed earlier this week that we're very much in discussions over his signings. And now the same per paper is basically saying we're one step away. Apparently, we have offered to loan him for the first year with a £15 million fee and then an additional £15 million next summer. And... The report goes on to say, given the good relations between Giuliani, who is the chairman of Cagliari, and Rad Razzani, that the English club hope to obtain a discount, you know, on the 36 million can bring this deal together. I genuinely don't know where my head's at with Nathi Hernandez. You know, I was told about Nandez weeks ago, weeks ago, before it was even out there by, you know, my man Gary from Talking Shot. And then we hear all this, this noise, will he, won't he, you know, it seems as we say, the, the, the Yorkshire press just keep pouring water in it. But over in Italy, they're convinced. They're convinced it's going to happen. And, you know, it feels a little bit to, to me like it's gone on that long now that I just want it to happen. <laughs> I want Nandes to pull on a Leeds United shirt. We need some more South Americans over here as well. You know, that Bielsa link, I love it. But let me know, guys, in the comments, I want to know from you, do we expect Nandes, come the end of the transfer window, to be a Leeds United player. I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a poll out actually, specifically on my YouTube feed. So make sure you check that out. I want you to uh, vote in that whether you expect Nandes to be a Leeds United player come the end of the window. And just some more uh, transfer news for you. Of course, it's Junior Furpo news again. 
Um, I think we all are in the position now. We're just waiting for this to be signed, sealed, delivered. Um, we heard from Oscar yesterday who gave us the law down. There's been plenty of scouting reports done on him. I think he's perfect for Leeds United. Uh, and it's been reported now in Barcelona by some top Twitter accounts that we're talking have got hundreds of thousands of you know followers, not just some any Tom, Dick and Harry. And they're saying that the left-backs move to Ellen Road will be confirmed in the next few days. I expected it to be done before Friday, but it, it looks like it might not be the case now. I'm probably heading to next week, but they've gone on to say he'll join Bielsa's side on a four-year deal for €15 million. Euros. Uh, he's set to become Leeds' latest signing. He will join on a four-year deal with the transfer to be confirmed at some point over the next few days. If it's not Friday, guys, it'll be first thing Monday morning. Uh, Barcelona have reached an agreement with the Premier League club and they will pay €15 million Euros for him. Um, and it'll bring his two seasons to an end uh, at Camp Nou. Um, and, uh, you know, they continue to say that the deal is done. It's done and he'll be on a four-year deal, which I think is great for the football club as well. The, the fact that we can attract players like Junior Firpo that are at Barcelona, you know, that are coming to Leeds. You know, we're previously linked to Manchester United and Liverpool and he's coming to Leeds. He could have gone to AC Milan and he's not. He's coming to Leeds. That's the Bielsa effect. That's the Orta effect. That's the Rad Razani effect. Leeds United are back and I love to see it. Uh, and so just to finish, guys, as well, we've seen this yesterday. Um, an awesome mural going up of, of course, the Chief. He is coming to Chapel Allerton. Um, and another mural is being done by the Leeds United Supporters Trust. And just remember, guys, as well, the Leeds United Supporters Trust will be putting together uh, a website with the full map of all the murals to so be able to do the walk. I plan on doing it myself. I'm really excited to get it done as well. It's awesome that this is all happening. And again, it comes back to the Bielsa effect, Radrazani, you know, Orta, the feel factor around the club now is amazing. And that's what Bielsa brings. Wherever he's gone, there's murals popping up. And then once it starts, it's snowballed, hasn't it? We've got Pablo, we've got the Legends one. We're now getting a Lucas Radaby one. We've got the Calvin one with, um, you know, Albert Johansson. It's just amazing, man. It's, it, it's amazing. I'm so proud of my football club. You know, it's great to be back, man. And that's what we are. We are back. I know I keep saying it, but listen, that was another episode of the Daily Leech. Jam-packed once again for you. I hope you enjoy it. Please show your love by smashing a like. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel down here as well. Um, and yeah, look out for more videos coming your way in the coming days. Peace out. Love you. Leech, leech, leech.